Welcome to Winter Efteling and it snowed. <laughs> so actually just kind of first video we ever made. We yes. will make a walk. Almost a year ago. It's 350 three year, days ago I believe we made our first video on our channel and it was the fairy tale forest in snow and today we're lucky again yeah it snowed overnight it isn't that cold it isn't uh, below zero so oh, we are in the park are. early <laughs> oh well uh, but there's a thin layer of ice and a thin layer of snow so we show you around in, at the most beautiful part of Efteling with snow, the fairy tale forest. And it's already dropping rain, so the snow won't last long. So we made most of it when we could, stepped in our car and drove over here to enjoy it. And we're in the final days of winter afternoon, so also the toadstools are still in their winter theme. That adds to the atmosphere of winter. Yeah, a lot of the statues also are the winter decoration of the park. I remember last year it was really slippery, <laughs> but today we can just walk easily. It's a really thin layer of snow, but it adds to the magical atmosphere of the park. Absolutely. And snow is rare in the Netherlands. It's coincidence that almost a year ago we had snow as well. There are years when we don't have any snow, haven't got any snow. And he dares to come out. And it just starts to snow again. Let's see. Finocchio is willing to show up. to wipe the lens for a little. <laughs> there was a raindrop snowflake. It's a snowflake, yes, it's absolutely snowing again. But I think it's just above zero degrees Celsius, so it won't stick on the ground.
Let's go visit our favorite, at least my favorite, fairy tale character. See what he has in store for our future. Ah, oh, it's funny. A funny future, he predicts. Maybe you should be careful. Sounds like he sees us slipping on something. Oh, oh, little squirrel. I love this about Efteling. You see all the birds, the ducks, the squirrels. And these are the red squirrels, so not the grey one you know in America. And it's really quiet in the park. It's a Monday morning. Just a work day for many people. So we can enjoy the park to the fullest. It's low season as well. A lot of rides are closed. For maintenance, of course. And today, during uh, due to weather circumstances. Today, yes, absolutely. When it's freezes or it's very cold roller coasters might open but always at a later time because they need to have a certain temperature so it's need to have a couple of rides in and not always sometimes it's just not they're not able to open roller coasters It depends. You can always check the app. Absolutely. Wondering why when the mermaid will return. Yes, it's been gone a long time now. They oh, predicted November, but... Oh, please, she'll return soon. But she's not there yet. There's dragon. Ah, uh, the first sign of tulips. And there's our big pole. Dragon. You won't see your treasure, don't worry. He's keeping an eye on us. But we'll stay away today. Mama goat on our way to get some groceries. They are enjoying the hot cocoa. Uh, we don't need to do that. <laughs> Later today. When we're done here. Finished our walk. He has a scarf on. Against the cold. And the bubbling pot is still there. Also winter decoration. 
right? Yep, yeah. that's definitely it for winter. I'm not sure why it isn't there all year. Mm. No, it's not really a special winter team, but maybe because uh, it's more visible in winter because of the leaves that are gone, maybe? I'm uh, not sure, but I love the small additions yes. they do to the park. Like here. Those gingerbread men. And I like the one with the full tummy over there eating cake. the cake. And all the birds looking for food. Well, there's actually a lot of extra food here at Efteling. Uh, for all the in animals. special feeding places. Uh, they added several feeding places, for mostly winter. near the walking path, so you can enjoy the birds and even squirrels. <laughs> yeah, cheeky squirrels that yeah, love uh, bird food as well. Those are smart. They know how to get the food. She, she did a great job overnight. Yeah, I hope she will get to work in magic some more this year. At a couple of centimeters, maybe, of snow. I think she's saying no to my request of extra snow. I actually don't like this joke. No, <laughs> neither. <laughs> no, if you call her, she must come out and show herself. She does a lot of it us too, so I think it might be personal. That was the building place of the Grand Hotel, so I think that's a good thing. Maybe that are the first walls to come in. Let's Ooh. hope so. Let's go check it out later. But and first we check Donkey lift his tail and of course the six ones. Yeah, let me make a round here. Because this the snow is already rapidly melting. Let's take a look at six ones. I think we've missed that last year. Not sure. Not sure. It was in our video. But at least let's check it out now. It's one of my favorite spots of the fairy tale forest. It really feels like a hidden corner. It is a hidden corner. We've met people who were desperately looking for this place and walked by us by it like three or four times already.
this is already first peek at the next fairy tale, Cinderella. And then one of my favorite places was the fairy tale forest. And my favorite fairy tale growing up. The frog. Prince. The princess and the frog. Princess and the frog, yes. You can't even read the book now. It's completely covered in snow. I'll just leave it there. Oh, and those frogs must be cold. And quite, quite strange, most parts are snow free. Yes, and here there's lots of snow, still. Maybe because it's enclosed or something. Oh. This is so magical. Check out the Indian model, Lily? Mm, no, not necessarily. Or maybe just a square. Okay. Let's not go inside. At the Fertile Theater, they can have their own snowball now. There's a story about oh, yes. the party, the snowball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very true now. The, sh the gate froze. I can ex imagine that now. Again, just a thin layer here, but oh, so beautiful. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't like winter sports. I don't like skiing or skating. But I love snow, but only at Esteling. <laughs> snow really creates a winter feeling, and Esteling is an amazing place for that feeling. So I can imagine. I love it as well from in my garden in my garden yes if i don't have to go outside or only when outside is here that's when i lost snow <laughs> otherwise it's just slippery and cold and wet Let's take a small look at the construction works at Sleeping Beauty.
They're making good progress. They are. Most of the scaffolding is Gone. down already. Always good to see that the Efteling preserves their buildings for the future. I think more snow will be gone when we exit the fairy tale forest. Yeah, we just entered halfway. <laughs> so there's. Hmm. We won't make a whole run. We just got the best of it. Oh, look, look, look. At the tree. Yeah, can I see, see it. it. And I'm not sure if I can capture it. Already gone. Oh, there he is. No, he's not oh, gone. He went up. He went up. Oh there, on up in the tree is a nice little squirrel nimbling on a nut. You can see those best on the more quiet days than yes, they show up. Then they show up. Oh, the socks aren't going to dry. Oh, the fire's on. Just a small fire. Our sleeping giant. That little tum tum. No one knows my name is Rumpelstiltskin, but he's been singing that for so many years now that everybody knows his name is Rumpelstiltskin. For sure. Ik ben heel wat mensen. Maar u nou, 
Still suffering from a little bit of dementia. Unfortunately. He should know our names. He should definitely know our names. After visiting 100 times in the last year. And having a secret button on in the app, which will show you in another video. You should definitely know our name. Oh, he should be cold now. When there are no other voices in the park, you notice how loud the music is. It looks like they turned up the volume, but probably didn't. Nope, this is the normal volume. But even now you can really understand the story of fairy tale trees telling already. Yeah, you heard him from the path over there already. Oh, you hear him over there quite well. Even on crowded days. But normally there's a lot of chattering. Roodkapje en klein duimpje brachten het na draak. En die was meteen genezen. Roodkapje en klein duimpje mocht er een stukje op zijn rug mee vliegen. Zo zie je het. <laughs> Always funny little stories. Moral of this story, even the witch did something good, although she had no clue she was doing it. That already makes us come to almost the end of our video. But first, here's Fakir. His tulips are already up. They also grow In during snow. snow. There he goes. We hope you enjoyed this video. Yes. We make walks actually everywhere we come. So don't forget to follow our channel to see more guided walks like this all over the world. And if you really, really like this video, you can give us consider to give us a super thanks. And we of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. We hope you enjoyed. We did. Especially these winter pictures and we hope to see you in the, in next, the next one, one.